and we are recording. It's my third time trying to record this thing, man. Audio, all this stuff, man, it keeps muting itself, whatever. I got to make sure I check everything before I go. Last video, I got about five minutes into it before I realized it. But look, y'all, dating is just, man, it's a joke nowadays, man. Women don't take us serious. They don't take us serious, and they're out here with multiple kids, still making demands. Um, Man, you have to work on self-improvement. I can't say it any other way. You have to work on self-improvement and become the greatest version of yourself so you can attract the right kind of women. And you also have to be in a position and a mindset to know that, okay, you're the master of your destiny. You're not going to let anyone come in and start putting stipulations on what you should be doing or how you should be moving. Modern women have a tendency of trying to tell a man how to be a man while not having any idea how to be a woman themselves. They're all outside of their frame, feeling like they got to really, truth be told, they really feel like they got to mammy you. And you can't really seriously be trying to think about dating somebody, a man that you have to mammy. So right now, man, it's just, it's, it's wild times, and I just don't think dating is a good idea. I know that 64% of uh, young men aren't dating. I think we need to get those numbers up to like 84%, if not 90 because the more that we hold back from dating and hold the line, the more these women realize that we're serious. Now, some of you guys are going to get weak and mess around with some of these women that have been around the block. It is what it is. But most of us, hopefully, will hold out, and we might be able to end up getting some decent women that haven't been passed around that, um, you know, got humbled through this process. And only through this process of us holding the line, going MGTOW, uh, save yourself, black man, uh, passport, bro, all this stuff. This is the only thing making them reconsider the way they're acting. Cause you know, giving them what they want got us where we're at right now. Where, you have single mothers who are out here rebranding and re-putting their used coochie back on the shelves as brand new. You know, over here serving out single mother, leftover one, modern woman uh, coochie with uh, brand new prices. And what's, what's so sick about it is there's so many guys out here that are so desperate still taking these these females in. They don't even have a soul anymore. Most of these women by the age of 25 have had all the kind of penis that they want. Anything after that, man, they're just, you know, these women be trying to live it up before they turn 30 because with that whole wall thing, man, they're trying to they're trying they're trying to get it all in before they hit 30. To them, settling down is just that settling. It's settling. So they're going to go have a good time until it's time to settle down. You know, where you're thinking about settling down is just, you know, building a family and what you work towards, they're settling. They've already had a great time with these other guys. You know, they, they've they had so much uh, great times that they can't even really orgasm properly with anybody anymore. I mean, um, even when they're, they are trying to orgasm with you, they might be thinking about one of these other dudes. Like, you have no idea, man. You have no idea. It's a cold world we live in. And we're finally realizing that the root of most of the evil is a phone. That's how they're getting all this access to these other guys and, and, and inflating their ego. But you won't never be able to separate a woman from her phone. And then there's some guys out here like, don't be a fool. Go through her phone. Go through. If you, I was talking to my pops about this today, and we both agree. You got to go through for go through a woman's phone. You might as well just hang it up. Just call it quits. Call the relationship over. That's what it is. You're going through her phone. You, hey, just hang it up. Just call it a day. You did the best you could. Bless your heart, man. Because I mean, going through her phone, man. That's you go through it. You're gonna find something. 
And when you find something, what are you going to say? Now, I'm not telling you to turn a blind eye. What I'm saying is if you're with someone you can't trust, you got to go through her phone, it's over. <coughs> Excuse me. It's over. I know the younger generation thinks that's okay, but it's really not. If you really, if you're a man and you know you got to go through your woman's phone and you're having to scroll through and check her apps and all this and that, and know her location and all that, man, it is over, dude. Like, you, what are you even doing with her? What are you even doing with her? Some of y'all, man, you just don't, you don't know any better, but you're not trying to do any better either. You're, you're just taking what scraps are given to you. You don't go through no woman's phone, man. If she's going to do some cheating, she's going to do it. Man, listen, if she a cheater, she can go to the grocery store and get smashed out. She could do a, a grocery store um, pickup order for all you know. Take the stickers off the side and then get smashed out somewhere, you know, not even at the grocery store. After she done picked up the pickup order, slide by, get smashed out in the back of some dude's truck or whatever. Hell, maybe even close enough, go to his house. And then come back to your house like nothing happened. If she really wanted to, she could do that, man. So, you know, going through their phones, it's just a sign of insecurity. And she knows she has you by the balls at that point. Man, I don't go through nobody's phone. Once I've come to the real, realization that it's over, it's over. Once I realize that she's probably cheating, I'm done. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way you have to be. That's the way you have to be. Because in this modern times, man, if these females can get over on you, they will. They will. Man, look, I'm not going to hold y'all too long. I want to make sure I start doing these videos where I'm just talking to you guys. Um, authentic, uh, no music, no nothing, just raw conversation. Okay? You're going to see straight. And... The straight talk I'm talking tonight, you know, these women with the way dating has become. Like I was talking earlier, if you guys think about the 1990s and early 2000s up to 2010s, women that were single mothers, they they had a understanding of their place. And they knew that they, their place wasn't brand new prices. These single mothers, man, this new single mother thinks that she's the same as a woman without kids. Back in the day, there was some shame going on in society about certain things. And with that shame, you know, we had single mothers knowing their place and they would, you know, be treating you accordingly. Like you're coming in to rescue her and put her back in alignment after she's made a mistake once, twice or three times a lady. You know what I mean? So, you know, back in the, that's why you hear these women that are grown now in their 30s and 40s, like, my stepdad saved me, and it wasn't for my stepdad. I, your stepdad got respected by your mom. Your mom understood the assignment. That's why, you know, stepdads were treated differently back in the day. Everybody knew, yeah, well, you know, she had like one or two b before him or whatever. So he kind of got up in there and, you know, he straightened the family out, gave it structure, gave it that complete picture, right? Nowadays, they act like it's your job to come in there and just take on her and her multiple kids from different baby daddies and deal with this broken structure where the baby dad is in and out the life. Whenever a new boyfriend comes around, he wants to be more in a life, assert his, you know, whatever role he has. And then she's thinking that she's doing you a favor because on the outside, she looks good. Um, her body looks decent. That ain't got nothing to do with them guts. Them guts are still worked over, run through, you know what I'm saying? Worn out. I can keep going. Expiration date? Ruined? Y'all be tripping me, man. He's going to be online like, ah, 45 and still got it. What that coochie look like and what it feel like? I guarantee you that ain't still got it. I don't give a crap what you look like online. I can guarantee you that ain't still got it. I guarantee you it don't look like it did 20 years prior either. See, that's where y'all get your uh, your reckoning right there, your wake-up call, your accountability and responsibility. That coochie, after it's done taking too many, um, penile, 
that, especially like whatever y'all be doing them, them anacondas y'all go to uh, um, Jamaica for, that thing be looking straight up like roast beef. It stay open. It don't close. It man, no, nah. no. Nah. And we're done taking these leftover women. It's over. It is over. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you. You guys hear anything in the background? That's my son. He has his um gamer headset on, so I can be in here in the house and chit chat with y'all instead of being outside. So he doesn't know how loud he is. He's having a good time. I don't care. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all. Go ahead and let y'all go. I appreciate y'all. Go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that uh, uh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, drop a comment. Share the video. Um, and let me know in the comments how you like the uh, straight up talks. Just straight. You know what I mean? No music. No reaction. Just talking to you guys. Chopping it up like I do outside. Let's talk about it. Anyway, love and light. I'm your brother. And I'm out.